Is that on? Oh my goodness. Is my hair okay? What about this beard? Do you think it looks all right? I don't think I can do this. I got Hashimoto's. Don't they have like pastors and stuff that are uh, sure Jesus, that kind of thing? I don't know if anybody's even gonna watch. I don't even like Grace in the Bar, man. Truth. The Bible says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh, hey. Yeah, Coach Meyer asked me to you know, do this video because obviously I have Oscar ability as an actor. Yeah, you can see all my trophies behind me. I'm pretty much uh, amazing like that. State champion, man of the year, and a bunch of other awards too. Yeah, the truth is I... Uh, I don't really need God, and you know this whole uh, raising the bar thing. It's just kind of a waste of my time. Truth, the Bible says in Proverbs sixteen eighteen, pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before the fall. Hey friends, I'm Coach Meyer, and we are raising the bar. Sure, all of us can relate to uh, one of the other scenarios there, right? We're either kind of afraid or think everybody else is maybe better than us, or we can't do it, or else we're overconfident and think our ways are just better than everybody else's, and we're just better than everybody else. Today's youth face many challenges, um, but this generation shares maybe a unique uh, challenge in that I think there's more and more adults that are buying the lies of Satan and uh, the other generation of the past. I recently uh, visited uh, the hospital, as you know, and I was in a, a chapel. I went in the chapel there, and uh, I was very thankful. There was a Bible, a place that I could uh, just spend time with the Lord and pray. And as I looked around the room, I noticed that there was a whole bunch of uh, well, religious symbols on the wall, and uh, I noticed also that there was a Quran. And the message... Uh, by the adults who put that room together was was pretty clear. All religions are pretty much the same and lead to a heaven of some kind. And truth is relative; it doesn't really matter what you believe. You can kind of just uh, believe what you want and uh, make up truths as you see fit. But Jesus says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me." John 14, 6. There are many things that you're asked to trust. Will your legs hold you up when you get up to walk? Is the food we're going to eat safe and healthy? Can we trust the scientists? Can we trust our parents, our teachers, our friends, relatives, and others we come in contact with? And thankfully, most of the time, we can trust these things. But nothing is as trustworthy as God in his word. Not only does he say it, he shows it by dying and rising from the dead. His word is recorded in actual time by actual people with amazing prophecies that all come true, sometimes hundreds of years after they're predicted. In other words, every detail has to come true across many generations of people. The word records the most minute, seemingly insignificant details that, when examined closely, reveal the genuineness of God's truth in his word. Daily, we are reminded of God's truth by the amazingness of our bodies, the fact we generally know right and wrong, the sun, the moon, the stars, and the complexity of God's universe from the macro to the micro. All remind us that God's word is the truth. So when Jesus says to you, I am the way, the truth, and the life, you can trust it. And when he says your sins are forgiven, you can bank on it. Rest easy, my friends. The bar has already been raised. The truth is, we are perfect in God's sight. Amen. Let us pray. 
Lord, I thank you that in a world that deceives, lies, and tells many have truths, we can trust that you are the truth and that your word is true. Amen. Have a great week, my friends. Rest in the assurance that Jesus has already raised the bar for you. See you next week.